Hi guys and welcome to 123MyIT's video on how to create an OSX Yosemite USB installer drive. Okay guys, so a few things that you're going to need today is you're going to need a USB drive. Um, it needs to be 8 gigabytes or larger um, and you obviously need a Mac. You also need this download, so install OS, OSX Yosemite download. You can get that from the App Store, and I'll show you how to get that in a second. What we're going to use this USB for is to do a clean install of OSX Yosemite to any Mac. I really recommend that everyone should use a backup uh, installer USB because if for some reason something happens to your machine and you need to reinstall, or do a clean uh, install of OSX Yosemite or Mavericks, then you'll need this. Uh, you'll need this USB. So this this video or tutorial works uh, both with uh, Yosemite and uh, Mavericks. Okay, and I'll show you that in a sec. So we've got our uh, USB in. What we might do is we'll just go quickly into the uh, utilities and go into disk utility. And in here you can see it's an eight gigabyte or larger. Um, USB drive. We just want to erase it, make sure it's OSX extended, and we just want to go erase. It will actually change this untitled USB, and I'll, that's fine. We, we need to change this name back in a second to run this command, however, it should be fine. Okay, so if we hit erase and then erase, and we just want to have a clean USB, now that's going to remove any of the data on there, so just be, be aware of that. Okay guys, so once the USB has been erased there, you can see the name has changed to untitled. The next thing you're going to need is this install file. Now I've got it on the desktop here, but actually uh, to download it, what we'll need to do is go into the App Store. Okay, log into the App Store like you would with any app. You can type in Yosemite up the top here, or you can just click on the link that's in there as well. All right, hit download. All right, we're going to, and you would hit continue and you would download it. And then when it's once it downloads, it will actually copy it into this uh, into your launch pad here. Okay, so leave it in the launch pad. That's fine. It's going to stay in our applications uh, menu. So we just close that now. So once you've downloaded it, you've got your USB drive ready to go. We need to run a command in terminal, and don't be too worried about this because it's fairly straightforward. And if you follow the the video here, you shouldn't have any problems. So let's um. Let's open up a web browser, and we just want to go to the 123myit website. All right, if we type in up the top here, uh, create OSX Yosemite USB. All right, scroll down, and then we should see create a bootable OSX Yosemite installer USB drive, and we want to click on that one, okay. And then scroll down. If you need the code, you want to copy the code, you'll find it under the OSX Yosemite uh, heading and also OSX uh, Mavericks um, heading as well. Now what we want to do, because this is Yosemite, if you need to check what version you're using, go to Apple and then about this Mac. All right, and you can see there we're on a MacBook Pro 13 inch mid 2012, OSX Yosemite 10.10, .10. okay? So we're using Yosemite, we want to copy this. All right, copy that command there, then go back up to your finder and type in terminal. All right, and hit enter on your, or return on your keyboard. All right, then we just want to paste that command in. This command is going to go through, and I'll just kind of talk you through it here. It's going to install under your applications directory, the app, Yosemite app, which is this thing, this uh, install Yosemite app there. All right, it's going to use a uh, app, app called Create Install Media, okay? And then it's it's going to create it on volumes and then my volume. Now, if I hit uh, return or enter here, and then I put in my password, all right, it says volume, volume slash volume not a valid mount point. What does that mean? Okay, well basically, this part here of the code is the name of this drive here. So if I change my volume to untitled, then it would find the USB and it would uh, it would start installing uh, OSX Yosemite. Okay, uh, however, instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is uh, click on the USB drive here and I'm just gonna call it my 
volume, all right, which is the same thing. So we're just changing it to this command. I could have changed this command to one, two, three, my T. Press upwards again, and I'm going to hit uh, return. All right, it says to continue, we need to erase the disk. We just want to press Y for yes, and then uh, hit return, enter. Okay. All right, and then you can see there now erasing disk 0%, 10%, 20%. And you can see that the disk is actually, or the USB has disappeared. Now, you see it's, it's come back up there, and now see what it's called. It's called Install OS X Yosemite. All right, now this may take a while, guys, especially if you're on an older Mac. Uh, if you're on a newer Mac, obviously, it will take less time. This is a 5 gigabyte file. So it's going to take a while to copy all the files from the OS X Yosemite file to the uh, USB. Now while this is installing, guys, one other thing for those of you that are using OS X uh, Mavericks, um, what we can do here is if we go back to the 123MyIT site, and we've also got the command here if you wanted to install or create an OS X Mavericks uh, USB disk. Okay guys, so you can see there now it's complete. Let's go back across to our uh, install disk. So if we've got our uh, USB install disk there, and we double click on it, let's see what happens. Okay, and then it comes up with the uh, install OS X Yosemite menu there. Okay guys, so yeah, again, just finishing up on, on that, Basically, you would use this if you want to do a clean install. You can do it with OS X Yosemite. I'll put some more information up on the 123MyIT website. So if you want to go through and have a read of that. Once this video is done, I'll also upload that. So that's pretty much it, guys. If this was helpful, please leave a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.